Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba, thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Meek to Peak. We are still playing as Bohemia. I had lunch, we had a discussion about why Scandinavians are tall. You have to watch the VOD if you want to know the nitty gritty details on why that happened. But uh, we are going to make a play for Emperor. I just changed my vote to myself. We are going to improve relations with all of our guys and uh, make this hopefully happen. The Emperor is currently age 33, quite young, but he could die any day. We're over the force limit slightly. We do have some money, we're making positive income. I know we do need a tax collector in our capital anyway for a mission, so let's just build that. It's not very good as a structure, but it's still somewhat good. And we could build a landslide protection in our gold mine, which will give us Local development cost minus 15. That is going to be impactful because we are going to develop the gold mine. It's very expensive though. 227 gold. I wonder what the break even on that is actually. Let me just do some quick math. Let's just say that by having that structure, it saves us 15% dev cost. What do you think the most amount of clicks is that we're going to do here? We're at least taking it to 10 base production. Probably to 12, maybe. 12 or so is a good spot where you're not really risking the collapse that much. So let's say that it saves us 7 Diplo clicks. And then it saves us... We've got up to 12, then these have to equal 11. So that's 6, we need 5 others. So 7 plus 5. It means we're doing like 12 clicks total. Base cost for a click is 50. It saves 15% of 50. So 7.5 monarch points per click. So for 90, if it saves us 90 monarch points, it's like getting the last two ish clicks for free, kind of. Last two dipple clicks is one way of looking at it. So two free dipple clicks earning 0.2 goods produced of gold, 0.4 goods times 40 gold per year. It earns us 1.33 ducats a month. The building was like 226 gold. So probably about a 170 month payoff or 14 years. Yeah, that's worth it. I think that's definitely worth it. Especially if we do more dev than what I said. All right, let's just build it now then. And before we have a chance for our valid rival status to, bro uh, to break off, I think we're gonna declare on the Teutons, especially with this tech advantage. You might not stop being, uh, might not lose Valve Rival status, but you can go beat up on Magdeburg really easily. I don't think we need to worry about these guys that much. And we can even call our allies in, so well, let's do it. We also saw the contract active with uh, Brandenburg, so. So I guess we got that going for us, which is nice. I've really got to figure out why my mouse is double clicking so much. It's really driving me nuts. It's not okay. Don't approve. Okay, electors. So one of the reasons we're doing these money, these wars like this is because I intend to bribe the crap out of all of the electors. And I just spent all my money on a building. Whoops. <laughs> Let's go get some money from the other people then. Chat is still talking about height. Yeah, we had a little discussion about other things between episodes. Okay, so we have Austria only has one vote. We've got three right now. So we have a pretty good chance, actually. And I think I decided I'm actually going to play friendly with Brandenburg until we become the Emperor. And only consider breaking the alliance after that. I don't like that I'm slightly over the force limit right now, but Ooh, I also don't like losing money at the moment, but I guess we're taking a loan. 
That's not that bad, I guess. We could just kill an infantry. How much is this actually costing us? Eh, it's not that bad. Oh, Bhutan's managed to get all the way down to us. We do have the tech advantage out of everyone in our alliance, so I think I'll be the one to just go fight him. Hey, okay, next ID group, we can take uh, General Staff, Land Leader Shock plus one, great. Hey, Renaissance has spawned. We should probably try to top off our spy network here. Just rolled in. Just rolled three, three pip generals in a row. Wow. That is very unlucky. Darn, I missed this by like no time at all. Hope man is Curie controller. All right, we have enough of an advantage. I'm just gonna take this fight. I'm tired, I'm tired of trying to track this guy down. It's a negative two penalty. We should win before the, the reinforcements can arrive, which then makes us the defender for the incoming army. Yeah, that just worked out fine. So the reason we're losing money now is because we're paying for Brandenburg's army. Brandenburg is not actively sieging Magdeburg. Where is his army? He's heading to Osterode to help out with a siege. Is it reasonable when we have low manpower to pay 2.5 ducats a month for an 8 stack? Probably. His army would cost us 1 ducat a month for the cav and 1.2. For the infantry, so like 2.2 ducats a month, it's seems fine. I don't get to control the army, that's the one drawback. But um, having the army in the war is generally good, I think. <laughs> Seriously, chat is still talking about height. Let's play the game, we're playing Meek. Poland's declared war upon the Teutonic Order. Nito. Um, Trisha for enemies minus uh, plus one. Sweet. For enemies plus one's very good. We already have advisor costs and imperial authority growth modifier. Poland wants all of the clay. We should make sure that we have a, our own guy here just to uh, try protect this. I want participation because I want lots of the money. I don't care if we end the war with no, no manpower at all. I'd rather just suffer some extra attrition. In fact, I'm going to turn on the manpower edicts instead in order to try to offset the attrition I'm going to suffer. Why play the game when you can talk about height? Well, it's distracting. That's why. All right, four troops there. We need nine. I can put three. That makes seven. I can pull one off of here and one off here. And we actually have just enough to do all three sieges at once and earn participation still on these two. Okay, if the Emperor were to die right now, we have it. Castile has already declared independence war, logically. Hungary is fighting Aragon, Naples, Venice. Oh, this is such a good opportunity for a contract right now. If we could rent to... Castile. No, if we could rent to Venice to go plunder Hungary. Oh my god, please end war. Must end war now. Stop harassing my territory, please. Remzo, thank you for subbing. Man, the Teutons are like really good at catching us spying. I had a hundred spy network against them and they've caught me every time. I'm going to start spying on Hungary in the hopes that we do find a contract to rent against him. Poland wants military access. Haha, very funny. Did Poland attack the Teutons? They did, yes. That is why there are 28,000 Polish in Konigsberg. 
Depending on how well these sieges go, I think we just let Livonian Order off the hook and don't worry about sieging him out. It's going to be too much attrition dealing with the, the winters up there in addition to the level 3 forts and stuff. Coastal level 2, coastal level 3. Yeah, not going to deal with that. Besides, I want to I wanna run to uh, Venice. Venice contract would be so good. Okay, yeah, Magdeburg has fallen. Magdeburg trade is useful to us. And getting prestige is probably more valuable than getting money. Because we're only going to get... Oh, we do get 20 of the ducats, yeah. That basically buys me a gift to one of the electors. I'll take the money. After Poland eats part of the Teutonic Order, vassalize them. It's a it's another humiliate war. We can't force vassalize. I wasn't able to get an actual claim on the Teutons. I just declared using the humiliate CB because I figured we'd lose them as a valid rival soon. Especially, obviously now, looking at what Poland's doing to him. Man, I hate disease outbreaks as a mechanic. And we're out of manpower. Of course. Um... Well, that siege is more important than this siege, but... Remove disease outbreaks, please. <laughs> Burgers gain loyalty and Memmingen gets an opinion boost and we get goods produced in Memmingen's land. That's fine. I always like those events. I like anything that increases loyalty with the burgers, because now we can do things like this. Saxon legitimacy to get them above 60, which increases goods produced globally. It's just a, a great thing. Fire pip, plus one. Man, we're gonna have some really good generals soon. Soon. If Poland wins the Siege of Konigsberg before I win one of the three other sieges, I will be so angry. <laughs> How is it possible that he's caught up on the Konigsberg Coastal Siege? What is happening? I'll have some good JFs. Yeah, good generals. He did. He actually did. He took Konigsberg before I could take a single, a single fort. That's insane. Well, there's only an 11 stack out there, mostly owned by the Livonians. Are the Livonians at war with Poland as well? They are not. So, finally we got Tuchola. I want to make mines pay for this? There's Ostro, that could go to mines as well. We don't want to give too much war score to mines because he might take a peace deal. Um, we might actually be able to knock out. Yeah, let's let's go try to just knock out the Livonian order by sending an army up there. Every month that goes by that we're not renting out troops to somebody else feels bad. I'm gonna cancel my Conatieri contract with Brandenburg. I don't think we need them anymore.
I think we'll just threaten to start the siege here and hope that these two provinces being occupied is going to be enough to knock the Livonian order out. I only have five war score, but his enthusiasm is going to come down. Yeah, perfect. It's going to come down super fast uh, and then allow us to just knock him out. Which increases our war score against the guy we actually care about and allows us to peace out for our third humiliate, which will ensure our... Well, actually, well, we could wait and take a show strength. Show strength. 300 bonner points right now or money to use to bribe the emperor empire we have three votes solidly one vote for austria we've got it pretty solidly already the show strength is looking pretty solid to me actually Loot and show strength. Debt to gift is worth. I did spend most of our money, but... Um, knocking out all these ideas right away and getting access to your policies as well is really good. Early show strength is really, really strong. Besides, he's never going to be a valid rival again after this, so now is the best time to do it. Uh, let's go ahead and press the issue. Just looting a little bit. Poland has accepted an army to hire... A contract to hire Brandenburg's army for free. Dude... You sneaky son of a gun. He rented it to me for two ducats a month. It's probably because uh, he's a... It's the Teutonic Order rival. <clears throat> Alright, show strength it is. Done. Naval leader and land leader maneuver. Boom. Brandenburg Two-Faced. Nation of Mines has declared a war against Nassau. Um, excuse me? I was planning on renting against Hungary here, sir. Wait, Aragon's winning? Defender Castile. Steel controls the war goal. Are they sieging it? Oh, they are. Yeah, Aragon's winning. Mines, why should I help you do this war? I don't want to. How about you? You're running a deficit while having loans. Ooh. What if I rented my whole army to Venice or to Aragon first? Then I'll be in the war, but not actually be in the war. Hey, Aragon, here, hire my army. Oh, he spent all his money. Boo. A second ago, we had 50 ducats. I got greedy. How is Mines trying to take land? Didn't they just almost get a coalition? That's a great point. What is he doing? He has 30 ish AE. I guess Nassau's only 5 dev, so he thinks he can handle it. He's probably not wrong. Strong start for mines. Well, I really want to help make sure that Hungary gets wrecked, because if Hungary gets wrecked, he might lose his alliance to Austria, or decline a defensive call from Austria or something. So I, I think I will rent my army out in its entirety to Venice to go assist against Hungary. And then we'll honor the call. And then, uh, I think we'll take some of this money. Why are you not willing to vote for me, dude? I'm the best. Vote for me. I only have three votes, but barely. Here, I'll probably give you some cash or something soon. Alright. Rent an asshole ally? What, rent against him? <laughs> yes? That would have possibly been an option, yeah. And then immediately get the money. But again, I think hung hurting Hungary is more important. 
Hungary is uh, one of our missions, so. Okay, so we are Bohemia. We've got nationalism plus uh, the thing. General staff. Development ideas feels real good. Um, Catholic ideas make sense if you want to play like the Emperor game. Innovative makes a ton of sense. It stacks the uh, advisor cost discount with our national idea. Oh, interesting. Oh, uh, Bellasterk, you, you, you messed up, man. You didn't import my code when you moved over innovative ideas. Pernici pernicious put-downs. Guess whose PP is really, really big? This is supposed to be scornful insults. And this is not supposed to be merc cost. You messed up, Bell. Bell. Bell, blame Bell. Broke. It's broken. Do you have ideas? Oh, sure. Let's take it have ideas. I want to show it off. For people who are watching on YouTube, it's a cool event. It's a cool thing. So now that we have dev ideas, we need to take dev ideas number one, and then we'll get another national decision to show automatic development that's happened over time. It's pretty cool. But uh, for now, I'm going to take a short break here. I'll see you guys in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching. See you soon.